Hi guys, welcome to part two. It's Monday afternoon, uh, I've finished work for the day. So the plan is to make the final three binders, which is the Enchanted, the Christmas and the Condensed 10K. I've already made a fat 10K or a beast 10K, um, as I like to call it. I've already made that one. So I need to make a, a condensed and then I'm gonna make some placeholders and then I'm gonna make a few five pound challenges, not many. Um, and I think that's about it. And then I think we should be done for the, for the video, which I'll film tomorrow afternoon. So that's the plan, um, to film that video tomorrow afternoon. I've bought a new, um, white mat for my table, which I'm going to film that on because I just think the wooden table sometimes when I'm doing products, like for Etsy shop and like Instagram and stuff, I'm not sure it really shows the binders very well with the wooden background. I don't know, it, you might disagree, but I'm gonna try the white. I bought like a big, massive, giant mouse pad thing. Like I think it's meant for a computer desk. So I'm gonna try filming with that and see how it looks. So we'll do that tomorrow afternoon. And I've, I've come to a decision, I've made a final decision. I'm not gonna restock until I'm back from holiday. And the other thing I've thought of is that particularly the um, wizarding ones, the houses. In the past, they've only ever came in a 1K target amount. And I think what I'm gonna do is change it so that other target amounts can be ordered. So 250, 500, 1000, I might leave it at that. But I haven't designed any of those trackers or the Cricut vinyl cut. So if I got a load of orders where I need to redesign everything as well, like it's just gonna, it was just gonna make it too much to do in the time I've got left before I go. So I've made the final decision. I will communicate that um, to everyone on Instagram and then I'll mention it in my cash stuffing video, which I'll film on Friday, I think. So yeah, we've made, I've made the decision. I've, I've finally got there. I'm normally not that very, I'm not very indecisive. I normally make a decision, but this is important to us. So I needed to make it right for me and for everyone else. So yeah, that, that's the decision I've came to and um, hopefully everybody understands and I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how this, the resale goes when I come back. So let's make the final three binders.
guys, here we go. <laughs> 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19 binders. These are every single one of my design in my Etsy shop, but with a different target amount. Um, so all the binders are done, thank God. Um, so the new ones in the shop will be the Badger, the Snitch. No, no. Where is it? Oh, an Errol. There he is. Um, this Lion one actually used to have um, lightning bolts down the side, but I've changed it to a lion. So let me know what you think. I might bring back another wizard and one, which has just got lightning bolts, but I don't know what color scheme to go for because it's kind of a catch-all, isn't it? So if you want to see just lightning bolts, let me know. Um, and someone else mentioned a sorting hat one. So I'm not sure. I think I've got enough for the time being <laughs> for this collection. Um, and then, I mean, I'll go through this in my video, but these will all be the wizard and collection. Then these will be, I'm going to call it nature because I don't know what else to call it. Because you've got thistle, honeybee and moo cow. Then we'll have Christmas. Enchanted is just separate. I don't even know what to call that, but we'll just have to keep it as Enchanted. And then these will be the stars collection. So Iris, Summer Haze, Oceana, Candy Floss, Watermelon, and then the 10Ks. They'll be separate. So here we are. All the binders are done, and now it's time to make some placeholders. So these are the placeholders I've already got made. So I'm not going to make any 5,000 or 3,000, I don't think, uh, or two. I'll make some 1,000s. Um, I don't need any fives, twos. This is just to show in the video because I'm not restocking. I can make some more when I return. We've got hundreds, so we'll do a thousand. We'll do some fifties, and then I've got no gold fully funded, so we'll make some gold fully funded, um, and then we'll make the paid placeholders as well. So we'll. Um, I kind of talked about not doing a tutorial, but I guess you'll sh you'll see how I make these anyway um, during the course of this. So let's get cracking.
Right, I was going to make some paid placeholders, but I'm not happy with the vinyl I've got. Um, so I think I'm going to order some new vinyl, which might mean the video I'm going to do is delayed slightly, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just not happy with the vinyl. So we've done the placeholders. Um, last thing I need to do for today is the five pound challenges. So let's do that. Okay, so that's the five pound challenges done. I think I'm gonna try and use, because I love it as well, and I don't wanna keep getting loads of new rolls of vinyl. Um, I might try the Enchanted vinyl for the paid placeholders and see what they look like. So let's do that. Well, this is the these are the paid placeholders done i quite like them in this um vinyl what do you think the only problem with this vinyl right is and i think i see it on the enchanted listing if i don't i should um because of the way the vinyl is printed i can't control like the sort of how much pink and yellow and not much color is is in whatever you get so these will come in a pack of three. So I'll just try and make sure that they're like a little bit mixed in terms of ones that have more yellow, ones that have more pink and ones that have more peach because it goes peachy as well. Um, it's the best I can do, unfortunately. But I quite like that vinyl and I quite like the way those paid placeholders look. So they will be on the shop as well. All right, well, I think I'm done for the day. There they all are behind me. <laughs> I'm so pleased that most of it's done. Um, oh, well, no, all of it's done. So I've just quickly had some food. It's like quarter past eight p.m. I had a total kids tea. I had a chicken burger, potato waffles, and beans. How jealous are you of my tea? It was it was really nice actually. <laughs> um, it was just a freezer meal because I've got I've gotten out in the house. So my plan tomorrow is um, I've got a few meetings and then. Like, I don't ever really have a lunch break, but around midday, I'll go to the shops and get myself some food for the week. Um, I cashed stuff on Friday and I haven't used any of my groceries money yet. So, so I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and then I'll film the video. I'm so pleased everything is done. We're all done. And what it means as well is I can get my kitchen back because like it basically doubles as, as what I use to make my stuff. Um, and you know, all my laminators and stuff. I end up just having wires everywhere and it's really not pleasant. I mean, it's fine, it'll do, it's totally cool, but um, it's nice to like put everything away and then I can clean properly and um, just feel like I've got my kitchen back. I would love a studio. 
I don't need one though. I don't mean a studio, I just mean a room that's dedicated to this. Uh, to be fair, it doesn't take much to take everything and put, I've got like massive boxes that I just store everything in and put them in my cupboard under the stairs. Um, like, whoa, Harry. So it's fine to put it all away. Um, it would mean, say if I did do that, it would mean like converting my garage or something and that's just too costly. Like I don't have that kind of money. Um, loads of people on my estate have done it and I think they paid like 12 grand, but that was before COVID and now it's way more than that to get it done. So that's just not gonna happen. Um, but no, it's totally fine, but it means I can put everything away. And so I'm so pleased it's done. I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the night um, and I'll pick you back up tomorrow. everyone it's Tuesday morning it's 20 past 8 that doesn't feel right no that clock's wrong 20 past 9 so I haven't got any meetings actually until one o'clock so because tomorrow is going to be probably like a 12 hour day um I, put, I think I'm going to film my video now so I've just put the white mat down it's not that white it's a bit dull but it might look different on camera, who knows? So I'm gonna film the video now uh, with a coffee and hopefully it won't take me too long. It won't be too long a video to go through everything, I don't think, but we shall see. And um, yeah, I'll put that video out hopefully, like I said, either tonight or tomorrow night, maybe even tonight, I'll see. But in the video, I won't make any mention as to restock dates or anything because I want this video to serve as something that'll last, you know, to link to my shop. Um, and therefore it's pointless talking about dates of restocks and things. It'll just literally be a product show and video and that's it. So yes, I'll make some announcements about the Etsy shop later in the week. So yes, let's get cracking. So I'm just setting up and here's the mat, but oh, it's quite dull outside. I just wonder if the white is like absorbing all the light. No, it, bang it reflects light, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. Doesn't that look lighter? Or am I just talking crap? I might get the ring light out. Oh, man. Is this too dark? You can't answer us, I don't know why I'm asking you. So it's 3.30, I've just finished my meetings and I don't even have any emergency bananas. So I'm gonna make a desperate run to the shops to get some food. And then I'm gonna come back and edit the video that I did this morning. Um, and I'm hopefully gonna put it out tonight, but we shall see, fingers crossed. Um, so we'll do some editing later. I'm not sure if I'll take you along on that. That's pretty boring. Uh, and then, yeah, and it's a really early night for me actually because I'll be on the Flying Scotsman tomorrow. That's the quick train from Newcastle. It doesn't stop to London at all. Um, so it takes two and a half hours to get to London rather than about three, which is good. So I'll be on that train, which I think leaves about 7 a.m. So um, yeah, I've got to get a train to get to the train though. So <laughs> um, early night for me tonight and then I probably won't get back home till I'm gonna get the three o'clock. So I'll be back maybe about 6.30, 7 p.m. tomorrow. So it's a long day um, and I could stay over if I wanted to, but 
just with the amount of time I've got left before I go away, I just, I wanted to come back to my own house tonight. So um, you do get sick. It's lovely to travel and be able to travel for work, but it's nice to come home. So that's the plan. Um, so I might not pick you back up until tomorrow morning. Morning guys, it's Thursday about 8.30 a.m. Um, yesterday it was a complete and utter disaster from start to finish. I wish I hadn't bothered going to London. <laughs> loads and loads and loads of train problems, loads. Um, and then more train problems in the form of the metro system in my area when I got back. Basically, the crux of it is me and Bruce Springsteen are no longer mates at all. He caused absolute bedlam in Newcastle yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so um, I got in, I can't remember what time now. It wasn't too late but uh, it was just a nightmare on the trains yesterday. So it was a bit of a waste of time getting to London and back uh, in the day, but it's done now. So I was gonna end the vlog sort of now-ish, but I've realized that I do have one more binder that I do design and sell that I've completely forgotten to make. There's a bit of a reason for it. So it's a binder I released ages and ages ago, and then I stopped like restocking it because it t I tell you why I did. It ended up being the last binder uh, available on my shop all the time. And it was almost like, it was a bit too niche that people didn't want to buy it. It's not that they didn't want to buy it because it would eventually sell, but I just thought, shall I make more available of the other designs rather than having this one here available that people aren't as interested in? So I think I will make it. I'm going to have to get everything back out. It's the betrothal binder. So it's the one with the like wedding rings on the front. I guess I could put that in with Christmas and say it's like occasions. Because I just don't want loads of listings. That was the whole point in rejigging the shop. Um, and now I've got just, just some that don't fit into themes very well. So the ones that don't fit into themes well is the, obviously the Christmas one, the Enchanted one. Um, I'm sure there was another one. No, that, that was it. And then now maybe the Betrothal binder. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, but we might have to make that one as well. <laughs> And then I will be done. I will be done. And then I'll probably end the vlog. So it's Thursday. This hasn't really been a week in my life. It's been more like eight or nine days. Um, so we'll get cracking with that later on after I finish my meetings. And then we'll end it there. So catch you in a bit.
okay, now I'm done. Done the final binder, final, final binder. Uh, I will have to refilm the, uh, the, the video. So it, I didn't include obviously the betrothal binder when I filmed the video for the shop. So I'm gonna have to do that again, but that's fine. Uh, I think it's gonna be sunny tomorrow morning. So the lighting might be a little bit better actually. So I'm gonna film that tomorrow morning. And actually it wasn't too much of a big deal because since I made the decision not to restock till I return, I did think I'm not gonna post that video in like late May, like 24th of May or 3rd of May or whatever it is, uh, when they're not gonna be restocked for at least three weeks or so. So it, it's actually worked out all right, cause I'm not gonna post, I probably won't post that video until after these are posted. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you very much for spending some time with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I don't think I'll do these very often, if again at all. <laughs> <laughs> they are a lot of a lot of work uh they are a lot of editing and yeah it's it's it, it is a lot it is a lot to do so uh yeah i'll i'll think about it but you know depending on you might not have liked it at all so i might i might not do another one we'll, we shall see so listen thank you so much for, for spending some time with me i'll be posting that uh product video hopefully in the next few days or so and then i'll see you when i return for another cash stuff in thanks guys bye